Hello and welcome to this tiny video demonstration of the WordPress plugin Restrict Anonymous Access. I will show you what it's all about and how you can use it and yeah, hopefully this is pretty easy and straightforward. So what's it all about? Restrict Anonymous Access is giving you the possibility to hide certain parts of your page content for certain user roles. Default is um, the anonymous user or the guest user, which is not logged into your WordPress system. So I have a example page. This has some content on it and this is the normal page view. And I will switch over to my dashboard. You can see the uh, content within here. And after installing and activating the plugin, you will notice that you have this tiny new icon within your editor. And this is pretty simple for using the plugin. So if you would like to hide this paragraph, for example, then just mark the text, click on the icon, and you will notice the uh, shortcode member where we insert it. Can now update the page and reload my anonymous view. And you can see now the paragraph is hidden and instead this box with the information text is shown up. You can of course hide more than just one section. You can also use the second one or as many as you like. And there you go. Now this is just the default behavior with the shortcode member and that's it. But of course you have some options that you can use. So the first option I would like to show you is the possibility to hide the complete box or the complete um, part. So if you use the show info parameter and set this to zero then the box will be completely hidden so the text is gone and also no information is shown up so this is the possibility to hide this block completely with the show info option Another option is to have a custom information text. So if you use info text parameter and enter whatever text you would like to enter, update this again and make a reload and you will see we've changed the information text. Now maybe you have um, some CSS classes you want to apply to this info box. For example, you, you may use the Bootstrap um, framework. You might want to use some classes to um, style this box, or I've set up just a test class. So if you use the class parameter, and now I enter my custom CSS class, which is called tests class then this will be applied and my my styles will show up so this is now a red box so you can enter whatever CSS class you want to apply so this is the um, yeah the, these three options are um, maybe something you want to use and we have another option which might be very interesting for you so we um, now use this paragraph and uh, you can also um, hide this box not only for anonymous users you can also use the WordPress user roles so if we apply now role and uh, let's say 
author. Update. You will see, of course, when I read out the page that I, because I'm an anonymous user, I get the info box. I will now log in as a as a um, author. Um, uh, my page? Here it is. Yeah, you will see now. I'm able to to read all the content because I'm an author, and this is what we just entered. As you might know, we have also other user roles. So anonymous, if you're not logged in, then first group is the subscriber, with the contributor, author, and also the editor. So I can now try um, logging as a contributor, and you will see that I'm hopefully not able to view this content anymore. Um, yeah, so you will see the box shows up again. So, actually, you are able to set whatever user role you want to um, have access to this part of the content by just enter role and then the name of the user role. So switch over to our example page. Yes, and this is mainly it. So you have a very pretty simple way of hiding content for locked out users, which are actually guest users or anonymous users. And the opportunity to use WordPress user roles and, as I showed you, apply CSS classes or some custom text, or you can also just hide the blocks, uh, the block completely with the show info option. Yeah, this is it. The restrict anonymous access plugin. Have fun with it and if you have any suggestions or found any bugs just let me know within the support forum of the official plugin site.